Hey guys, I'm out here um, at unit 239. So it's right through there. I already walked up the steps. Um, I just parked right out there. You get a parking pass. Um, and then I just came up through here. This is where the HOA office is, is um, on the other side of the building um, on the first floor. And then this unit is up on the second floor. This just goes out to the ocean. <laughs> and then as you can see on the first floor unit, you have the access to go out to the beach. Um, so it is high tide right now. But when it's low tide, I mean, it goes all the way out to where those guys are. But um, I'll walk down to the first floor after in a separate video um, and then show you the beach side of the units. So just right near the steps, here's unit 239. There are no elevators in these buildings. So unfortunately they are not handicap access accessible. So um, just right to the door when you come in, we've got a closet. It's just a linen closet. They are having me snag all these brand new towels but everything else is staying, except for one little tiny table, and I'll show you. Um, here's the bedroom. And the guy who had this unit, he uh, is a contractor and he builds houses. So he did all of this wood paneling and everything. The headboard is actually mounted to the wall. And then here's the closet. So you can kind of see how big it is. That table right there, that's the little topper, the white part, and then the metal part is the table. Um, they are having me pull that out of the unit as well. But um, again, everything else is staying. So the bed, the nightstands, the window units, and then the um, dehumidifier. So yeah, it's it's still a good sized bedroom. This is a queen bed. Plenty of room in here. And then hallway to go into the living room, kitchen, and then out to the beach. I just love hearing that sound, the ocean. So this is where the um, water heater is, the hot water heater, but there is some shelving in there. There was no hurricane damage done to this home or this this condo. However, uh, the workers came in to check to see if there was any damage and um, they broke the sink. So this wood, it, it still functions. It's still hooked up and everything, but obviously this piece is broken and it's coming off of the wall. It's not mounted to the wall very securely and they dropped something on it and it cracked the sink. So that's what that tape is there for. Um, it's just a standard little pedestal sink, easy fix or replacement. Um, just a little bit of storage behind there. This is um, tile floor in here. However, the seller has purchased um, LVP, really nice LVP floors to go throughout the house if you'd like. Um, as you can see, there's wood in here, and then the everything else is the tile. The tile is certainly very easy to clean. 
So this is the only other thing wrong with this unit is it started scratching. It doesn't, or I'm sorry, peeling um, from a scratch or two. So it doesn't affect the functionality of it, but it may, it's an eyesore and it makes bath time no fun. So um, that's certainly something that can be, it, well, it was considered when pricing the home, but um, it can be pulled out and you can just put a whole new unit in there. Or you can have a company, uh, there are companies that come in and resurface tubs. Um, looking at about $800 to $1,000. Um, there is a vent fan in here. There is no heater. There's no heating system in this unit. There was baseboard heating throughout, but he's removed all of them except for the one in the kitchen or the bathroom, which he was about to do, but he decided that he wanted to list it instead. So this is actually not hooked up. He uh, undid the wires for it. So <clears throat> a little space heater since the winters are so mild. And they just use this as a little vacation home. Uh, they would just they just had a little space heater in the unit. However, there is not one currently here. This is the closet, and I'm using air quotes when I say that. He um, had that he put the doors up here. Most units have the bunk beds installed, um, so a lot of units have those instead of using it as a closet, but they didn't feel the need for it, so they did not have bunk beds, but that is an easy installation. Here's the um, living room, and again, he installed all of the, this uh, woodwork in the house. He did all of this himself. Um, all the furniture will come with it. This sofa is a pull-out sleeper sofa. And then he, um, what he did, a lot of these units have this uh, this piece that goes almost all the way out there. Um, it sticks out pretty flush with this right here, and you just have a little small space to get through. He cut that out. Um, he said it was unnecessary, and it made the space feel smaller than what it does. Um, he installed this backsplash throughout. And then he just moved one, this cabinet that used to be this way. Um, he flipped it around and now it's on that wall. There are um, some pots and pans, coffee maker, some things for cooking, bowls, plates and stuff like that that they are leaving behind. Um, they said that they noticed that the refrigerator didn't feel like it was cooling down as much as it should. Um, they're not really sure. They've never had any problems with it. So, you may want to have that looked at. Freezer, still frozen. And then there's the stove. Everything is in excellent shape. They kept this place immaculate. Microwave. As you'll notice, there is no dishwasher. Another window unit. They are gonna take um, some of the, like most of these big shells, I believe, and this, some of the sand dollars and stuff. So, but the furniture itself will be staying. And I believe all of the pictures that are currently hung up will stay as well. And then here is the deck. Looks like the tide might be going out.
these are definitely staying. Both of these chairs. Very beautiful. As long as you don't mind the sandbags. 